Welcome back to News For You with me, Tracy Ikopit, and it's Monday, so you know what that means, a weekend recap. Let's get started. The National Environmental Management Authority has suspended the enforcement of all cars needing trash bins or paying a 6 million shilling fine following a discussion with the Public Transporters Federation. This applies to all vehicles, but littering vehicles will be impounded with their owners being arrested and prosecuted. The grace period is 30 days. Former Paralympian Oscar Pistorius has been denied parole in South Africa after officials say that he hasn't served enough time to be granted an early release. Pistorius is currently serving a 13-year sentence for the murder of his girlfriend Riva Stienka back in 2013. The parole board met to hear evidence from Pistorius and the victim's mother. However, officials admitted that they had the timings wrong after they received and ignored a letter from the South African Appeals Court stating that Pistorius needed to serve another year and a half before he could be granted an early release. Deadly tornadoes have struck several U.S. states killing 26 people and destroying homes and buildings. Over 80 tornadoes have been reported since the 31st of March. The National Weather Service issued warnings as the storms progressed, leaving hundreds of thousands without power. The latest storms came after an unusually long track twister that killed 26 people in Mississippi last week. President Joe Biden has promised federal aid to the affected areas. Max Verstappen won the Australian Grand Prix after a chaotic and controversial race that ended under a safety car. It's going to be close to contact and Fernando Alonso is spun round by Carlos Sainz. Perez is off the road. It's Max Verstappen with the, the lead. The Red Bull driver set the podium despite being tagged into a spin at a restart with only two laps to go. Total, total chaos. It's Verstappen, Hamilton and then it's Sainz up to fourth goes. Ferrari's Carlos Sainz was given a five second penalty for causing a crash that dropped him from 4th to 12th. The race has sparked controversy that F1 prioritizes showbiz over sports. Nobody crashes on, on purpose, but uh, everyone went wide or had a touch and yeah, it was just very chaotic. Mm. That's all for me today, guys. Make sure you catch us on social media and keep the conversation going using the hashtag NVS News For You. From me, Tracy Ikupit, signing out.